Hey everyone, I've decided to start a book talk account and the first thing I'm going to do is talk about my favorite books of the year and show you some makeup looks. I read a lot of books this year so I'm dividing them up into genres. I'm going to be starting with romance and showing you how I did this look. Keep watching! So my first book recommendation is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. It was adorable. It was sort of about the anti-Hallmark heroine. She's a book editor. She goes to a small town to be with her sister and happens to run into her literary agent rival. So it's kind of an enemies to lovers. The banter is great. Just so much sexual tension. The other book by Emily Henry, Happy Place, was a little bit darker, I thought, but still really, really good. It's kind of a forced intimacy type of situation. Two exes find themselves sharing a room at a friend's vacation house because nobody knows that they've broken up. And of course, sparks start flying and, you know, the whole history comes out and it's just really lovely. Both of the Emily Henry books, I believed, had like the right amount of spice for what they are. I call it relatable spice. I mean, they're kind of they're tantalizing enough, but when you're done, you feel like you've read a true love story. If you've read the, the Twisted series by Anna Huang, we're nowhere near that. And then I did something which was out of character for me, which is read a romanticy book. I couldn't stay away from Akatar forever. Y'all, I was not disappointed. I've never been that excited about like fairies and dragons and all that, I realized is that it's kind of freeing because the author can kind of invent this whole world and you just sort of accept it. It becomes understandable to you. And in the end, the people act like humans, so it makes sense. I literally could not put it down. Even though it took me a while to suspend my disbelief in book one because some of the character motivations are like, really bizarre in that book and like don't make a lot of sense but it keeps you reading. I feel like book one keeps you really excited because it's like an exciting story but I thought book two was markedly better because it's like a true slow burn love story that just and once you're in book three you're like so hooked and you just want to fight in the army. I wasn't a huge fan of book four. It's sort of like the Christmas special no one asked for, but it's really short. I haven't started book five yet, but I literally can't wait. All right, and that's it. Stay tuned for the next genre.